Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Monday, September 19th, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, we'll talk to Keenan Lineback. She's a freshman at the University of San Diego, a world-class surfer and a pretty darn good open water swimmer, too. She just got second in the one-mile La Jolla rough water swim. Keenan joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from San Diego. Hey, Keenan, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? Very good. Thanks for having me. Competitive surfer, huh? Yes, sir. I've been surfing since I was eight or nine years old. But you grew up in South Carolina, right? Yes, sir. Not too many great waves out there. No, only hurricane swells. It gets good, and that's about it. <laughs> also, you're the one we see on the news riding the hurricane waves while everybody else has <laughs> made their yeah, way inland. Yeah, you just stay out. That's when I go in. That's <laughs> your favorite day of the year, huh? Yes, sir. So you've been on the USA surfing team, is that right? Yes, sir. I was on it for two years. I got to say, I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is that based out of, and what do you guys do? Um, it was based on a contest, how you did in a contest called the U.S. Surfing Championships. Um, when I was on the team, the contest was in Huntington Beach, California, and they just picked if you got first or second in your division, you automatically made it, and... What it consisted of was they picked from that team, they chose the world team, and we just did like team training camps that were like a week long. There was about four a year. Best spot you've ever surfed in? That's really hard. Um, probably Australia. What beach specifically? Or Snapper, what area? Snapper Rocks, Australia. Okay. All you surfing fans out there, now you know from a pro. All right, so you're a swimmer, too. Have you always been swimming as well, or is that a more recent thing for you? I started swimming at age four. Well, like, swim lessons and everything, so, and I started competing summer league at age six, I think, so I've been doing that quite a while. And you're more of a distance swimmer. Obviously, you just did the, you know, you got second place in the mile swim at La Jolla. You swim 400 IM in distance events. Um, how... You know, how do the surfing and the distance swimming, I mean, how does one help the other? Well, surfing is not as strenuous as swimming, but it definitely helps cross-training and everything because it's kind of a different, it's just a different feel. And also, swimming definitely helps for surfing because I can surf for a really long time and not get tired like some people that don't do anything else but surf do. So it kind of helps each other. So you can stay out there longer, your legs can stay stronger for more sets. Right. Now, I know this could be a stupid question, but open water swimming, is there anything about understanding the waves and being in the ocean all the time that can, help, that can give you an advantage in an open water race as opposed to maybe a pool race? Um, I don't feel like it was that, like I had an advantage or anything. I mean... In the very beginning, like the start where you start on the beach, I could kind of see like when the sets were coming in, like when the bigger waves would come, but that was just about it. Everything else was the same as everybody else, I feel like. So you're swimming at San Diego. Did you mm -hmm. go out there for both probably, swimming and yeah. the surfing? More so swimming because I'm swimming in college and everything, but surfing was just kind of like an extra awesome thing that kind of worked out. <laughs> Yes, that does count as an extra awesome bonus. Well, uh, welcome to the West Coast. A little bit different. You know, we've got power outages that knock out the power for 5 million people. I'm sure you experienced last week. Yeah, class was canceled the next day. I was kind of happy about that. <laughs> you know, I also noticed um, you had a birthday recently. Sept yeah. September 11th. September 11th, which was the day of the La Jolla Rough Water Swim. It's also, of course, the day of the anniversary of the terrorist attacks. Yep. Uh, difficult having a birthday on that day, or 
you don't really notice um, the difference? Some people are like, ooh, that stinks, but it makes people remember it. And our school on that day, one of the girls' moms made us shirts that says, they said USD loves USA and like the red, white, and blue. So it was really cool. It felt like we were doing it for a cause and that um, we really made it like people, people remember that day more. Very interesting. How, how old are you now? I just turned 19. Okay. Well, I'm sure that ninth birthday was a little bit of a downer, but uh, like you said, something people can remember and you make the best of it, right? Right. Well, again, welcome to San Diego. It's fun to have a different storyline. A swimmer surfer, it's been a long time that I can remember since we had somebody like that in the sport. Good luck this year. Thank you. All right, that's Keenan Lineback joining us from the University of San Diego. That is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.